All right, so you moved in Jacksonville and you're looking for a neighborhood that you can live, work, and play. We're gonna talk about it in this video right now. Let's go. What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Welcome back to the channel, Dr. Adrian A. Gentry, AKA Dr. Real Estate. Jax, if you've been here before, you know what I'm gonna say, get up, get your own water, your family now. If you have not, do me a favor, like, subscribe, hit the bell notification as I try to talk about all things Jax, where to eat, where to live, where to play. And for those who do not know me, I'm a real estate agent in the Northeast Florida area. So whether you're ETSing, PCSing, moving from the cold north or the expensive west, we would love to serve you. So I'm gonna put my phone number somewhere, somewhere in here give us a call with the guys who pick up the phone answers the text messages answers the emails so we're gonna jump right into this thing right because a lot of people are moving to jacksonville and i don't think bartram gets its proper place in 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 in, in the 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 internet sphere right nobody's talking about it really because there's not a lot of new development going on out here but it is one of the largest master plan communities inside of jacksonville and i think if you are looking for that in type of environment where you can eat work sleep, play. I, I think this may be something you want to check out. So I'm gonna show you around Bartram just a little bit, then we're gonna jump right in. All right, so you gotta check it out just a little bit. So let me give you some context. Let me show you where it is on the map. So first of all, Bartram Park falls into two areas, right? Duval County and St. John's County. And if you're looking at the map, you'll see we're on the southeast area of Jacksonville. You, you take the south end of I-295 loop and you jump off right on 95 South, right? So we're about 22 minutes away from downtown, 35 minutes away from the airport, 35 to 40 minutes away from Atlantic Beach, 31 minutes away from St. Augustine's downtown. And I wanted to put that point on there for a reason, right? Because it's beautiful, right? St. Augustine's downtown is beautiful. We, it's the oldest city in the entire country. And I think you need to learn your history or you can have a staycation and check out the beaches. Either way, I think it's one of those places that it's like no other place, right? You need to check that out knowing that it's the oldest city it's beautiful if you haven't watched one of our videos on st augustine i'm going to link it in the description so you guys can take a look at it and kind of see what all st augustine has to offer so i know you're probably doing some research on this thing and you can always look it up by 32258 if you're looking for marshall zip codes right check out the neighborhood some of the things that are going on around it and do a little research for yourself, but I'm gonna give you a lot of information right here, so I don't know if you have to. It's one of the largest master plan communities in the Jacksonville area, and it's completely ideal for work, dining, play, shopping, and it can all be right there close to home. And that's one of the reasons why Bartram is, is so attractive to people who actually move down here. I've had people come and they're like, we need this neighborhood over here. And then all of a sudden they come over to Bartram and they're like, Adrian, you didn't, say anything about this like yeah I sent you some houses out there but you necessarily didn't look at those so then they end up out here in this community it is a mixed use development so it's 30 was it 3928 acres of just space and it employs over 70,000 people just inside of this area that's why I say it's ideal for living and working it has 1.3 million uh, square feet of commercial space 1.7 million of just office space shopping bars pretty much anything that you're possibly looking for you don't have to go far right it's literally a drive down the street either one way up or one way down and you can pretty much get anything that you're looking for right inside of this area not to mention it's it's close to St. Augustine right so you can jump on St. John's there's a couple new neighborhoods we're going to do videos on there Sheer water is one of the hot popping neighborhoods right now but we'll talk about that a little bit later now everything in Bartram Park is so close and I'm not going to try to name everything but you'll see it as we're rolling the b-roll so let's get into this right let's get into the one thing that a lot of people let's start there like I can just get into it let's start at housing right 
One thing that's great about this neighborhood is lower HOAs and CDD fees than you'll find in the majority of the master plan communities here in Jacksonville. Now, each individual neighborhood in Bartram is governed by a different HOA, so I can't give you like the specific what, what, what each, each individual neighborhood will cost you, but I can say the highest that I've seen was in Bartram Park Preserve, which was $2,000 a year for CDD and $66 a month in HOA. And I don't think y'all understand, in Jacksonville, when you look at the master plan communities, that's that's really low, right? Majority of the neighborhoods are much higher. So if I push down to say a knockity, we're gonna look at a much higher HOA. When I start getting into deeper into St. John's County, St. Augustine, we may be looking at $3,500 for a CDD. If I go all the way back to Oak Leaf, then I'm looking at about a $2,200 HOA fee. So it's one of the lowest HOAs and CDD fees that I'm looking for inside of a community. Now, Bartram Park has 14 different communities. Now, this neighborhood has something to offer for, for just about everyone, right? And there's multiple builders, there are multiple floor plans. We have rental communities, we have condo communities, townhouse communities, villa communities, and of course, single family communities out here in, 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 in Bartram. One of the things I like about these communities are some of them are gated. Matter of fact, majority of them are gated, whether it's a rental community or it's it's a housing community, right? Like, and I think that's what some people are asking for when they're coming to Jacksonville. I've had a lot of customers say, hey, I want a gated community. Like, Jacksonville is not heavy on gates. <laughs> Let me help you out real quick. So have an entire neighborhood with multiple communities that have gates on them. It's a, it's a, it's a pretty big thing, right? Because I'm looking at all the other master plan communities that we have out here. And I've seen communities out here, six, seven, eight hundred thousand dollar homes in the master plan community. And they don't necessarily have any gates. And, and some people love to have that security to feel like they're behind the gate and for someone to get in and I don't know still or TV, they need a gate. So I, I enjoy the fact that I can tell people that this is community for that, especially if you're a single woman, you're moving here alone, you're looking to retire, you, you need that security. And this is something that this neighborhood actually offers you with every gated community. Now, there's a wide price range here, right? I mean, it starts all the way from lower 200s, maybe just a little bit cheaper than that, all the way up to 900,000. So if you're looking for a condo, the prices out here are gonna start just under 200,000 for one bedroom, one bathroom. And we're talking about those condos typically go up to about 260. Townhouses, they're about 280,000 to about 350,000. Now we have villas. Now these villas are, are gorgeous. Like there are some, there are some beautiful luxury villas. I'm talking about the, the granite countertops excellent place to stay with the gated community they have the little walking trails and outside was it the fire a fire pit it's it's beautiful it's it's grandioso and if you know me i feel villas are only high-end townhouses but these look very nice so in the single family homes they're going to start from about three hundred fifty thousand dollars all the way up to 900 both one to two story plans ranging for anywhere from about 1200 square feet all the way about 3600 square feet Schools. Now, I know it's important to you, right? So let's go through the schools real quick. Elementary school, you're gonna look at Bartram Springs Elementary School, it's eight out of 10. We're going to look at Greenland Pines, it's a seven out of 10. Middle school, we're gonna look at Twin Lakes. Now, this one, I don't know, maybe they get crazy when they start getting to middle school and high school, right? I see this statistically across all of Jacksonville. Numbers tend to kind of go down just a bit, but this one, this was a dip. I don't know what happened here. Uh, when they start reaching middle and high school, but this one goes for middle school, we're looking at Twin Lakes Academy. It's a three out of 10. High schools, we're gonna be six out of 10, and then Atlantic Coast High School, which is a six out of 10 as well. And like I said before, I see it statistically across Jacksonville. If I look at Oak Leaf, which is actually ranked for the entire state, we'll see the exact same thing. We'll see a 10 out of 10 for elementary schools. It'll drop to like a, I think a eight or seven out of 10 when they get to middle school. And then it drops like another point when they get to high school. And that's literally ranked throughout the entire state. So maybe your kids are losing their mind. Puberty kicks in, they lose their mind. They get wild, they, oh, we're gonna party. Oh, can I get pizza? I don't know what happens. I know in middle school, I was wild. So I, Anyway, let's keep going, right? So things to do, things to do out here, right? Once again, it has a little bit of everything, different HOAs in every community. So I can't tell you the exact amenity for that neighborhood. But if you're a resident in Bartram Park Preserves, you enjoy access to fitness centers, your outdoor pool, playgrounds, and just open green space. Kids can run around and frolic. And I would use that as a punishment too, because that's what they did to us when we were in the army. They would make us just run in green spaces and dirt. And I, I, 
hey, I'm just saying, corporal punishment worked when I was a kid. Plus, there's two million feet of just commercial space. So we have shopping. We have Durban Town Center, which you have your Publix, you have your Coles, you have Walmart, you have Home Depot, Petco, Ross, Five and Below, pretty much anything that you're looking for out here. And if not, you have close, you have a St. Augustine outlets where you can go out there and you have Nike and they have all the bougie stores that I don't necessarily shop at. But not just that, you're not far away from St. John's Town Center at all. So restaurants, you're going to do tropical smoothies. You're going to do the sushi. You're going to do burritos. You're going to do Five Guys Burgers and Fries. You're going to do Firehouse Subs, um, Salsa, Kiki's Breakfast. I don't know if you've had Kiki's Cafe's Breakfast. It may be the one for you. We have salsa for Mexican recipes. And the one place I kind of love out here is Brooklyn's Pizza, right? So first time I ever walked in there, they have, I mean, they have, you know, the, the Italian cookies sitting around, you know, the pizza pie. I feel like I'm in New York for real. And they're throwing the pizzas up in the air. And if you're out here, you're going to have to check out Brooklyn Pizza. It's the closest I've found. I'm not going to say in Jacksonville, but it's one of the closest I've found to actually good New York style pizza. And I'm going I'm to I'm let y'all hold me to that. So if you've been, put it, put it down in the comments. But this is a community I really want to highlight, right? And I wanted to highlight it for just that reason, because new construction isn't really happening out here anymore with the 14 different communities already set in stone. <laughs> but so people aren't talking about it as much. I know E-Town gets a lot of play. I know Nakasee gets a lot of play. It's still growing. I know people are talking about Yuli and we've talked about it. We put it in videos. Oak Leaf has gotten a lot of play just based off the environment. But these these communities that offer you pretty much everything that you need in one setting, I think that's the way a lot of people are going, right? So I don't have to travel. And a lot of people that are actually working remotely right now, just think about it. I get off on break. I can go take and get something to eat at a great restaurant and then I can fall back into the house. I'm really good about that. I stay out near Oak Leaf area. So for me, I can be a hermit crab whenever I want. I can get up, I can go to the town center, I can come right back home and, and I'm completely fine and no one no one had to bother me. So that's, that's it, right? Like I wanted to tell you about a place where I think that a lot of families would enjoy being. In fact, I think about the makeup of here, I wanna say it's like 60 something percent families out here, right? The average age being in the 30s. So not only is it great for family, but it's also great with all the commercial space for young adults. So you have your condos, you have your, 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 your rental properties. And I forgot to tell you about that. So about $1,700 is the average rent out here. $1,700, so when we're looking at the condos, the townhouses, you're gonna pay about $1,700 for rent for those young professionals that are just moving out here, don't have to do a long trip into the city to, 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 to go to work. You can actually work right where you live. 70,000 people work out here right now in Bartram area. That's it, that's all I have for you. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my phone number in here again. If, if Bartram is a place that you're interested in moving into and getting more information about, give us a call. We'd love to serve you. We'll help you, help you transition to Jacksonville. If you're already living in Jacksonville, we'd love to help you get a property out here. And until next time, be great. Choose excellence in everything you do.